Oh, welcome to Hollow Head, a PlayStation 1 ugh, short indie horror game. And it looked interesting and has the pixelated graphics, which is what I love. And we're just going to get right into it. Enter. What a horrible dream. I can't go back to sleep just yet. Um, I, I, well, I didn't even know what dream this person had, but oh well. What? Can I even try to read that? Uh, let me turn up the brightness. Um, is it just gibberish? That's too pixelated. Yeah, I'll, I'll turn down my brightness. It's way too bright. What? Well, something's making weird noise. Can I get a light? Ah, oh, much better. Nah, it's just gibberish. Anyone in my closet? This is a door? This is a fucking door? We're not in Japan. Or are we? Hmm. And someone left the TV on. It's a waste of electricity. Hello? Always gotta check behind the shower curtains. You never know if it's like Papa Combo game, just like in Stay Out of the House, where you can shut, you can jump into the bathtub. What if the enemy is doing the same thing? You flies. I mean, can I not turn off the light? Well, anyway. what's the light for then? Whatever. The what? Oh, the opening sound is the same for the closing sound. Oh, something smells terrible. Yeah, it's right over here. Ugh. Let's get rid of the trash, I guess. Is the trash chute outside the... Oh. Pre presuming it's just the, you know, bad trash. Where's the trash chute in here? Trash shoot. Is this one? Ah! Did I just hear someone call? No, that was that was a sound like it came from the garbage room. I better go downstairs. What? I heard someone do a blood curdling scream of, of murderous intent and death and misery. Let's check it out. Was it Scooby Doo? All right, gang. You go in the basement of the garbage disposal. If someone was just fucking murdered. As soon as the lights turned off in the game, my own lights in my apartment flickered. Good timing, good timing. But, uh, yeah. I don't know where that flashlight came from, but I need it right now. I heard a blood curdling scream, let's go to the garbage. No, no. Go back to sleep. I mean, he said he can't go back to sleep. Go back to room, watch TV. But no, no, no. Can, can we bug anyone else to help us out? No? No? Of course not. I'll close the door like a good Samaritan. It's something about the ASMR whispery voices in the vents. A little strange, but... We shall see. Let's just keep going down. Oh, oh. Oh, this was the right floor. Apparently. Thought I'd go lower. But this is intended to be a very short game, like five to ten minutes, and based on... Do, do I want to keep going? No. Okay, let's go back. Just, just kidding. He's an idiot. He's fated to die. By his, own, by his own curiosity and ineptitude. Which direction? Who knows. This door, it's, it's differently colored. Oh god. No oh, god damn it. Ah that startled me. God that actually startled me. Oh. That's wait. Yeah. That caught me because I was hoping I'd close the door in time, but when I close the door is on the wrong side of the fucking door. 
Usually I don't get startled like that, but that actually really got me. Those are the kind of the jump scares though that I want in indie horror games. Not there's a lot of them that just do you get touched or model collision and just you died. That was good. I liked it. It's not too loud. It's expected, so it's not a cheap jump scare. I like it. If I'm going to be critiquing, oh, it's also possibly lurking in the hallways. I got to get around it. Oh, I thought he was just sort of cock blocking me the one way I had to go. Okay, okay. I don't agree with those noises. I remember there being one nightmare I had as a kid. When I was like maybe 12 years old involved a baby. It was really fucking weird. I'll explain it while I'm playing the game. I just remember it was like I was a kid and in the dream I was in my bedroom in my house. And I heard baby a baby screaming in the other person's house that was in our neighbor's house. So I opened my window to my bedroom, peeked my head out of the window to look in the direction where the baby screaming was happening. I saw the fucking baby was staring right back at me from their bedroom window. That was opposite. No, not opposite. It's just the baby was also staring, staring out at me. Yeah, I'll trust the message, yeah, whatever. Yeah, but the baby was staring at me, and then suddenly the baby just fucking, like, screamed even louder, and it's, like, its mouth and, like, cheeks, like, it's like, stretched abnormally large and kept screaming louder and louder while staring at me. And apparently, me in the dream, I was completely paralyzed and couldn't move, and could only stare at it as its face continued, like, tearing at the seams of its cheeks and its mouth distorting. It was really nasty. It scared the shit out of me as a kid. Seeing the, you know, baby's head sort of. Nope. Not that way. But then again, which way do we have to go? I'm just listening for the noises and trying to avoid it. If it chases us, it means it's behind us, and that's not as big of an issue, but. Obviously. We don't want it to come after us. It's too spooky. Follow the pipes, I don't know. But yeah, the baby's face destroying was kind of creepy. It's just one of those nightmares that are weird and bizarre enough that you just remember it. Wait, wasn't this where we were? This is where I backed the fuck off? Shit. I caught him for- thank you! I appreciate it. So wait, who did you, you- you caught the murderer. He murdered the chair. The monster witnessed chair murder, and he couldn't stand for it, so he's obviously on my side. Because as I complain about in a lot of horror games, there's too much chair abuse, there's too much chair homicide, and this dude obviously murdered this chair and tried to throw the corpse in the dumpster. He caught him. So thank you, I will stab him for the chair murder. Thank you. Fuck you. You are safe. Thank you. I don't like being in a raw, raw meat room, though. It's not my kind of thing. Can I cut my way out? Oh. Huh? I'm guessing like the creature's called the hollow head because he had that hollow, con I mean, cracked open head sort of thing. Sort of seems like it would be a, a decent. Uh, creepy past uh, monster, but given the option that I get a knife, I might be able to stab him instead. So I'm going to play the game again, hopefully not get lost in that maze. Also, I'm going to investigate this house a little more, like, I just... Why would I leave my apartment? Not why, because trash. But yeah, yeah there's this hollow head, a, per a little flashy monster with a hollowed head. I don't know, but what's what's its deal? If it's a creature that is meant to be, say, a creepypasta story, then what is its origins? Why is it the way it is? Why would it want to catch a guy screaming? Why would it want me to stab a person? Those are the important questions. And the exit sign has to sort of be double-sided for future reference. <laughs> Fucking chair murdering piece of shit. But yeah, I'll skip ahead. 
We don't wanna... We gotta... I mean, we're not gonna be stabbing the chair murderer this time. Also, I'll see if I can go down lower. Because this is the door they want me to go in, but what if I go further down? Oh, okay. He just stops. That... Wait. Yeah. What's going on here? It makes no sense. So we're in a nightmare, or we're just not in reality anymore. Alright. So we're gonna try to find a way. And not get- Oh god! No! I'm not the guy that killed the chur! Nice, I found the door very quickly. Alright. Thank you for catching the chair murder. Well, fuck you. You can run, you can hide, but it won't stop till you kill the monster inside. Ah, uh, The game story is meant to be that we did something wrong in our guilty conscience that creature comes after you and catches you and has, has you kill yourself? Some kind of, you know, metaphorical or symbolic meaning? Because he... And that's at least what I'm guessing. Like, I, I, I have no idea. I'm just going to presume the guy he caught is my character. And he has a bag over his head, which... Because you can't see your own face, but you're, you're stabbing yourself. As retribution? In consequence? I don't fucking know. But either way, that's at least my... Uh... Just on the spot theory, crackpot theory, you could say. But either way, I don't know, it was an enjoyable game. It got me to jump, and a lot of people are like, wow, Nico jumping, what the fuck? That's, that, that doesn't happen. So it's always a surprise. It always makes me happy to find a game that doesn't piss me off and actually gets me to jump and me, make me go, ah, oh, that was good, yeah, good job, good job, you did it. Because it's like, it's like an award. Anyone who can make me jump without it also pissing me off or just being completely trash, it's, it's a rare feat. Good job. So, I enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did enjoy it, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber, and the bell notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, and until the next time. Mm.